From a desktop computer to iPhones to Apple Watches, Apple has grown from a small company to a worldwide entity now. This is because the company is always finding ways to expand its range of products. And now guess what? Tell us. They're even planning to add an Apple car. Let's find out what Tim Cook is saying about the Apple car. Can he do it? Apple car. Electric vehicles are the new trend now. Almost all major car producing companies are trying to switch from the traditional internal combustion engines to electric vehicles. And there's some new ones joining as well. An example is Tesla and Google's Waymo electric vehicles. The newest addition to these companies is Apple. There has been news about Apple venturing into automobile production since 2014. Some even believe Apple's CEO, Tim Cook, has been interested in Apple building a self-driving car as early as 2008. However, in 2017, a number of sources reported that Apple had abandoned its car production dream and was instead focusing on production of autonomous vehicle software. The dream of producing an actual Apple vehicle gained more momentum in 2020, when rumors reported on Apple hiring thousands of workers to fasten the production of the vehicle. Contrary to the normal design of cars, several rumors suggest the Apple car, codenamed Project Titan, will have a design completely opposite of normal cars, with some sources stating that the vehicle might not even include a wheel and pedals. How true are these claims? Let's find out later in the video as we discuss the design of Apple's car. Don't go anywhere. But for now, let's look at some of the possible features of the Apple car. Features We can't discuss the features of the Apple car without pointing out what will power the vehicle. Rumors suggest that the Apple car will be powered by the Apple Silicon chip that will be as powerful as four of Apple's Mac chips combined. You can already picture how powerful the car will be. Another headlining feature about the Apple car is its autonomous feature. Apple is planning to make the Apple car the world's first fully self-driving vehicle. In an interview about the Apple car, Apple CEO Tim Cook stated that autonomy itself is a core technology in my view. If you sort of step back, the car in a lot of ways is a robot. An autonomous car is a robot. And so there's a lot of things you can do with autonomy. And we'll see what Apple does. This only gives one suggestion. Apple is considering adding an autonomous feature to the Apple car. Mark Gurman of Bloomberg even reports that the Apple car might have no steering wheels and pedals, and its interior would be designed around hands-off driving. He further states that although the decision of the Apple car might not include a wheel and pedals, Apple plans to equip the vehicle with an emergency takeover mode. Are these features possible? Well, we'll find out soon. Sorry to interrupt, but could you please take a second to subscribe to our channel? Our growth depends on your corporation. What are we gonna do? I've already subscribed. Let's continue. Again, rumors suggest the Apple car will be equipped with visual cameras as well as LiDAR sensors. This is to enable the self-driving vehicle to properly map its way around. However, latest reports from Bloomberg Technology states that the Apple car will not have a full self-driving feature, at least for the first version of the car. What exactly does this mean? They're still going to come out with a car in 2026, but it won't be a self-driving vehicle? So Apple is aiming to indeed launch their first electric car as early as 2026. And this is a bit of a change. Previous target within the company was 2025, so a slight delay there. But the big fundamental change, as you alluded to, is they're no longer targeting a full level five self-driving system for the first version of the car. Their initial plan was to reinvent the way a car works, just like they reinvented touch screens. The car will also be fully integrated with Apple's iOS and products, such as iPhone, Apple Watch, Apple Music, etc., with some sources even stating that you will need an iPhone or Apple Watch to start the Apple car. The car will also have a monocell battery system that will give the vehicle a longer range. Having a battery system means the Apple car will need a way to power the electric vehicle. That is why the Apple car will feature an electric charging system that can charge the vehicle from 0 to 80% in just 18 minutes. That's amazing! Lastly, Mark Gurman states that the Apple car might have an oval-like interior with an iPad-like tablet in the middle of the car for passengers to interact with. That gives an idea of the car's design, which we will talk about next. But do you think the mentioned features of the Apple car are achievable, especially within the 2026 release date period? We will soon know about that. Stay tuned! I just can't wait! Design According to reports from Bloomberg, Apple is yet to settle on the design of the Apple car. The Apple car design team is still in a pre-prototype stage, as stated by the reports. However, multiple sources have reported different designs of the Apple car. Some claim that the car will have a normal, luxurious sports car design, just like the Tesla car. On the other hand, 
Mark Gurman and the Wall Street Journal report that Apple might stick with the original oval-like minivan design, with an interior design similar to a limousine. The car might have about four seats facing each other with a huge touchscreen on the doors, which could perform normal iPad functions. Some reports also suggest that there could be a hidden steering wheel that would pop up for manual driving control should there be an emergency. Wow! We'll have to wait till 2026 as speculated by sources to know the actual design of the Apple car. For now, let's find out if Apple can actually manufacture an Apple car with all the mentioned features. Achievable? Looking at Apple's direction of partnerships, you could say Apple is on the right course. For example, Apple has made efforts to partner with companies such as Hyundai Kia, Nissan, Foxconn, and LG Magna e-powertrain to help build its electric vehicle, although talks with Hyundai Kia and Nissan didn't go as expected. With the mindset of partnering with car producing companies, it is likely Apple's EV could see the light of day. However, what seems quite unattainable is the release date. It's almost 2023 and Apple is yet to even settle on the design of the car. How sure can you be that the EV will be fully assembled and released in 2026 as projected? Not sure. Do you think this is possible? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Lastly, the fully autonomous driving feature might be a problem to contend with. Even semi-autonomous vehicles are still struggling to have full legal permits to operate. How much more a fully autonomous driving vehicle? It will be difficult, but difficult doesn't mean impossible, at least for Apple. Apple might be capable of releasing the Apple car in 2026, but what are they capable of doing in 2023? Click on the link to watch what is Apple capable of doing in 2023 to know all releases and events for you. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below.